This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build your website and run your business. Today I'm going to take you along with me as I clean my kitchen and my living room. I've been really lucky to have family in town during the month of July and it's been wonderful spending time with them, but it's also meant that my apartment is a bit of a mess. Um, so before I start cleaning, I like to start my essential oil diffuser because I love aromatherapy, especially if I'm doing something that I don't love so much, like cleaning. On this day, I diffused a blend of citrus and mint oils, and those are great for boosting the mood, so I thought it was fitting for this situation. I also love this diffuser because it has a 10-hour setting where it runs for 5 minutes on and 5 minutes off, and I love that because I feel like I really get the most out of my 4-5 to five drops of essential oil when I use this diffuser, and I think of it as like a healthier version of a candle. First thing when it's time to clean is I start with getting rid of the stuff that's in the area that doesn't belong. So as you can see here, the dining table is sort of a catch-all and so I'm putting my produce bags away and hanging them on the front door. I also work from here sometimes so I'm putting away all my work stuff. I still use this little orange work bag all the time and I'll link that video in the cards if you haven't seen it yet. I don't have a desk at the moment because we're kind of redoing things in the apartment and our office has been a guest room for the summer, which is great. So I've been keeping all my work supplies in this very old tote bag because I can move it around from room to room easily and it just helps me stay organized. Side note, I've been trying out this vegan leather bag from Angela Roy. It's the smaller green one that you see here and I really like it so far. I'm gonna do a video about it soon, but I just really love the shape and color of it. And as you can see here, I'm basically just taking everything that doesn't belong in this room and putting it in our bedroom for now. Once I'm actually cleaning, I don't wanna have to stop to put things away, so I find that getting everything out of the space that shouldn't be there first makes the cleaning process a lot faster. First things first, laundry. We use reusable towels and cloth napkins instead of anything disposable, so I'm putting the weekly kitchen laundry in the wash here. My produce bags are in here too, and those colorful bag goo bags don't get washed as often, but we've been using them this week for pool and beach stuff, so in the wash they go. I've been using this plant-based detergent from Drops for a while now and I really like it. They come in a cardboard box so I compost it and store the little pods in this jar instead. It's all plastic free by the way which is great. And I prefer the non-scented version but they also have some scented versions too just so you know. Sometimes I'll also add some white vinegar to the fabric softener part of my washer because it does an excellent job as working as a fabric softener and can also neutralize odors too. Up next, dishes. The most time consuming part of anything in my opinion. I cook almost exclusively at home so I feel like there's always dirty dishes or dishes drying on the rack even hours after I clean them but that's life, right? I'm grateful to have the space that I'm able to cook in so I try to always think of it that way. Do you guys recognize this drawer system for my camping videos? I'll link that for you too if you haven't seen it. And I'm still using this organization system that I shared in another video a while back too for my stasher bags. I use this plastic free dish soap from BYO Long Beach when I'm hand washing my dishes and clearly I need to buy another one. It usually looks like this, it comes in a little block. And these two brushes were given to me by sweet family members, one silicone and the other one's a mix of wood and plastic. I could compost the top of this brush when I'm done with it, but I have to pull out all the bristles first. So on most days recently, I've just been using a cloth like this to clean my dishes because it's so easy and I can just throw it in with my kitchen laundry. I do have a couple of these plant-based little scrubber things for when guests come over because I feel like they mostly resemble what people are used to using um, when they clean dishes and I can easily compost them too. Now for the dishes, I actually thrifted this salad spinner for two bucks a while ago and I'm absolutely loving it. It's not super dirty here so as you can see I'm just rinsing it. And I try to be really conscious about the water I use when I'm washing my dishes, so I always pour the soapy water from the container I'm washing onto dishes that haven't been cleaned yet instead of just letting it go down the drain. I do hand wash quite a few things, but I do also have a dishwasher, and the soap that I use for the dishwasher is also from Drops, and they're just little soap pods. They're super convenient. I love them. 
If you've seen any of my other cleaning videos, this probably won't be new to you, but I make two homemade cleaning solutions to clean my whole house. They're both super cheap, non-toxic, and very effective. The first one's my all-purpose cleaner. All the measurements for these things will be listed in the description for you, but basically I just add a few drops or a few tablespoons of Castile soap that I purchased in bulk, and that's why it's in this weird bottle. And I add that to a spray bottle filled mostly with filtered water, and then I top it off with a few drops of essential oils that are antibacterial. The second one is even simpler. It's just a 50-50 mix of filtered water and distilled vinegar. A lot of times I'll use this cleaner in combination with baking soda, which is in this little metal shaker, to create a cleaning scrub to get rid of tough grime. Grime like the grime that is in my nasty kitchen sink right now, as you can see. Um, I feel like it's stained with tomato juice or pasta sauce or something. It's definitely not looking good, but I don't need bleach or any harsh chemicals to clean it. I'm going to show you what I do instead. All I'm going to do is sprinkle some baking soda on these stains and spray it down with my water vinegar mixture and then let it foam up and sit for a few minutes. If I've learned anything from using natural cleaners for the past couple years, it's that you need to allow the products time to sit to be efficient. So while the products are sitting and working, I'm just putting away some of my dry dishes. Now you can see I can just easily use a towel to wipe away the stains with such minimal effort. It's just so satisfying. I might use some water from the faucet and a few more sprays of my cleaner along the way, but it's honestly a breeze and I'm not having to sit there and scrub really hard or breathe in really harsh chemicals. The grout here also always seems to get stained, so I use the same routine to clean it, but this time I use an old toothbrush to really scrub it. When I'm done with all my cleaning rags, I like to rinse them off and let them dry in or around my sink before I throw them in my little hamper to prevent any mold or funkiness from happening. I generally use my all-purpose cleaner for surfaces like the island or countertops, so you can see that's what I'm doing here. The stove is usually another surface that needs to be sprayed and then left for a few minutes, so I'm using my vinegar spray on there and continuing to clean other surfaces in the room. After it sits for a few minutes, the dried on stains just lift right off and I'm using a dry dish towel to finish things off to make sure that it's dry. And I'm using this dish towel because I didn't think ahead for this video and all of my rags were in the washer, so yeah, that's why I'm using it. Now on to the living room. I don't use this spray all the time, but we have had people over pretty consistently for the last month, so I'm just spraying the couch down with a fabric spray to refresh it, and again the link for that will be in the description down below. We've been playing a lot of video games on the projector with Nick's cousins while they were here, so that's what this stuff is. It doesn't usually live here in this room, so I'm putting it away. Um, if you watched my locker organization video from back in the other apartment, you might remember that I talked about modular organization, and that's still what I'm doing with this stuff. It just looks a little bit different. So this bag is for video games, and the other basket is for board games, and we only keep what can fit in each container, and they're really easy to find and move from room to room. Okay, now we're on the home stretch tackling the floors. Obviously, I vacuum. There really isn't anything special about the vacuum other than it's bagless, which is nice, but I feel like they all are nowadays, pretty much. And then after that, I mop. And to mop, I just mix some hot water from the tap along with a few tablespoons of white vinegar, and I soak a cleaning rag in it. This particular rag is just used for the floor and nothing else. I wring it out really well, and then I just use it with this really simple mop pole that I picked up at my local hardware store. I love how simple this thing is because it honestly just makes the process so quick and easy. I'll add more water along the way as I need it and that's it. I don't have any issues with the pole scratching the floor because the rag's pretty thick and it's folded over twice. So that's my cleaning routine everyone. That's what I do to clean up my kitchen and living room. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is sort of a new style format for me so let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you try any of these DIY cleaners. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video without interfering with the content. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that you can use to build your website, portfolio, blog, or online store. 
They offer 24 seven customer service as well as helpful video tutorials, making it easy to create a beautiful online presence even if you aren't design or tech savvy. They offer customizable designer templates as well as customizable email marketing templates to help you unify your branding from homepage to inbox. So if you're ready to update your online persona or start something completely new, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Cherry for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.